All right, welcome back. So the Port of San Diego is looking at ways to increase revenue, ways to better everyone's quality of life. And in fact, they have just completed a study as part of a 50-year master plan to develop the port. So Dan Malcolm uh, is the new chairman of the Port Authority. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so Happy we, to be here. Thank you for coming in. So we were talking about this report that was just released. Why do this now? Well, you know, we want to know where we're at. And this report really talks about some exciting things that are going on at the Port of San Diego. There's a lot of good news in that report. There is. There's, I mean, in terms of jobs, in terms of big companies bringing things in. Yep. Well, the report shows that the Port of San Diego has a $7.6 billion impact on the San Diego region every year. You know, and when you hear about the blue economy, blue tech economy, those are terms that are that are thrown out there a lot right now. Mm -hmm. The Port of San Diego is where the blue economy happens. That's where the blue economy of San Diego is. You know, when you think about it, 33,000 skilled and dedicated workers every day are coming down to Port Tidelands. 14,000 vendors around San Diego are supplying goods and services every year to Port businesses. That's the blue economy in action in San Diego. You know, and just to put a perspective on that, that's equivalent to the second largest employer in San Diego County. Organizations like UC San Diego and Sharp Healthcare with their seven hospitals and 14,000 employees. So mm -hmm. big, big impact for San Diego. Certainly. And we were also just talking a second ago about the 10th Avenue uh, Marine Terminal, the redevelopment plan out there, because there are ways that you are trying to improve that facility and move that into the future. And that's also included in this report. Well, we are. You know, the port operates 10th Avenue Marine Terminal, and that's where, you know, most of our importation comes in there in National City, where we import one in 10, 10 cars on the road through National City, 388,000 cars. But in, in 10th Avenue, we actually have some anchor tenants right now, and we're trying to increase the throughput there. But for all your viewers out there that like uh, bananas in their cereal in the morning or in their oatmeal, right. they come through 10th Avenue Marine Terminal from Dole Fresh Fruit, 185 million bananas a month. You know, so when you look at the future, we can increase throughput a lot by some smart planning. And you can encourage other tenants and other vendors to use that same port through that smart planning. A a absolutely. You know, the port is a very entrepreneurial agency. You know, we are a business operator. So we look at our operation, in this case, 10th Avenue. Mm -hmm. We optimize it, and then we attract new businesses to come in, and we will expand throughput. You know, and of course we have to do it in a very environmentally sensitive way. And that's the other part we were going to start talking about. You, you, let's get into that um, in a second. But first I want to talk about the Thailands and what you've done in terms of quality of living betterment with, yep. the, with, the, with the park. W well, th thanks for that. And, uh, you know, in addition to economic impact, the Port of San Diego is there to, you know, benefit our residents and visitors' quality of life. And an example of that, we just opened Lanefield Park. It's our 22nd park. It's right downtown in the Embarcadero. It's built on the historic site of Lanefield Ballpark where the, the Padres played, the Pacific Coast League Padres, from 1936 to 1957. You know, and that's an area, it's a wonderful example of what the port can do right here in San Diego. And I want to tell your viewers something. The Port of San Diego does all of this without tax revenue. We are a non-taxing agency. We are self-sufficient. That's good government. We live within our means, and, and we, we actually get our money from, from ten, tenant rentals. Right. And let's talk, though, now let's get to that environmental impact part of all of this, because to grow and to expand and to become smart and to bring in more revenue, to bring in more tenants, you know, there, there are communities that border the port. So this is going to have an impact on them. And what are you doing? Are you doing anything proactively to help them get through this to make sure to take their needs into consideration. Absolutely. You know, it's incumbent on the port as environmental steward of San Diego Bay to act in an environmentally sensitive fashion. So anytime we look at, you know, a plan where we're increasing throughput, a major part of that plan has got to be mitigating environmental impact. That means if a clean truck program, which we've already implemented, Instead of ships coming in and spewing um, a generator smoke, we have plug-in power so the ships can turn their generators off. Mm -hmm. It's much cleaner. Anything we do, we have to do with an eye towards 
you know, making sure we do it in a very environmentally friendly fashion. And then if for people that are watching right now and perhaps go near near that port area, what's the next thing they will be seeing? Well, what you see in the Port of San Diego, a lot of improvement all the time. We at the Board of Port Commissioners are always looking to improve our area. And right now we're actually engaged in a comprehensive planning strategy to really make the port that great place for the next 50 years. A lot of exciting things are coming. Um, it, it's an exciting time to be on the port, and we're just doing so many great things here in San Diego. And to, and to obviously generate more revenue and bring in more of these tenants. No bring question about it. Bring in more money for all of us. More, more money and more benefits. All right. Dan, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good to finally meet you. Yep. All right. There are some changes. Oh, yes, at the Old Town Train Depot.